Okay, so I know the term viral gets thrown around a lot these days. Not the pandemic variety of viral, but the other kind. And a couple of cross-country runners from Boise are riding that wave of popularity right now. About a week ago, the running magazine, Sidious Mag, ran their annual team headshot roundup. It's where they scour the team websites across the country looking for the oddest compilation of team pictures. And the 2022 Santa Clara University men's cross-country team became an instant favorite thanks to some social media bumps. It's not unusual for teams to do some team building stuff during the summer off season. And for the Bronco runners, that has meant growing mustaches for the last decade or so. And every year since then, though, facial hair is just the first step toward a tradition that has turned a lot of heads. Like a lot of things these days, it all started with one tweet. TB from Tulsa tweeting three days ago, Santa Clara men's cross country team is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Well, 160,000 or so likes later, and a run through the roster, it's tough to argue that take. Sure, there's the cool comeback quaff of Dominic, but beyond that, it's a team page filled with facsimiles of smiles and hair don'ts. From the Dupree brothers to Spencer Fisher's stash, a handlebar that seems to be mishandled. It's like a, a war leader or something like that, like a general, he just, yeah. Oliver Brandon Upton looks like he just woke Upton. And Harvey Chilcott, or should I say Harvey Bullcut, am I right? A scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll find two Boise boys, Nick Russell and Josh Simboli. You know, Josh didn't always look this way, like when he was helping set the school relay record at Timberline in 2019. A year before, Nick was Idaho's Gatorade Runner of the Year for Bishop Kelly. But those accolades pale in comparison to this new notoriety. I don't think any of us expected uh, it to blow up the way it did. It was definitely cool to have Sidious Mag do it for the second year in a row, and we were super pumped about that. Um, but then for it to go like all over Twitter and have people making like TikToks about it and having like all these news articles has been like pretty surreal. These roster picks began as a fanciful idea for facial hair about 10 years ago. I, I never even thought of like trying to destroy my roster photos until I got here and the guys were like, oh, it's a tradition, you have to do it. And we we're like, all right. And that tradition has since taken a turn. Okay, so are runners just odd dudes in general? Uh, yeah, definitely not like normal, I'd say. I think we bring out like the worst in each other too when it comes to like goofiness. We just, I don't know, one person does something and then we all get in on it. But yeah, everyone, like I said, everyone gets in a line and then it's just one right after another. And then you guys have seen the result. It just has a bunch of us looking like lunatics. And the responses have been almost as crazy, like this description of Nick's pick. My daughter says this dude is on his second divorce with six kids, four from their first wife, two from the second, and he lives in his car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. People are getting creative with the uh, with the roasts <laughs> and everything, and that's been the trending comment is that Nick looks like he's like 45. Others look like they had a fight with their barber. Yeah, it's a team photo, but you've stuck with it. Is it gonna stay? Uh, I don't know. Like I said, my mom will, you know, she'll probably see this or read about it and be like, you need to shave because she says she likes when she can see my face. So I guess the mustache and the longish hair doesn't really help that, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm liking it right now. I have no plans of shaving, but who knows? I might get an angry call from mom and need to shave it off. But not if it's going to jeopardize the juju of the running season. We got a really good team this year, so we're super excited to show people what we can do and, you know, try to put ourselves on the map other than just goofy roster photos. Those goofy roster photos are pretty cool, though. Sadly, Josh told us some of his teammates, they've already shaved off their stashes, well, more than halfway, that is. Josh says he's heard from friends and family in Boise the last couple of days, including from family in Canada, who said the roster picks have been blowing up up north, too. Bronco men's cross-country team will run in the Pacific Invitational in just two days, and as Josh said, maybe they will be noticed for the running more than looking like lunatics.